Trashing your Pro Tools preference files can be used to troubleshoot strange, unexplained behavior. It can help with assertion errors, graphic and display problems. Knowing where your Pro Tools preferences are located and which relevant files to delete is simple and easy. The first thing you need to do is delete the Diddy Design database folder. Double click your hard drive to access the root level library folder. Drill down into the application support folder and inside the Diddy Design folder is the database folder. Drag it to the trash. Now, the Pro Tools preferences are located at the user home level. There's another library folder in your home folder. Go inside and access the preferences folder. Now there'll be a ton of files in this folder, but just scroll down towards the bottom of the list and locate the file called com.digidesign.protools.playlist. Just hold down the control key, click it and choose move to trash. Now locate the DAE prefs folder and do exactly the same thing. Move it to the trash. Same thing with the digisetup.osx file in the trash. Then, finally, take the Pro Tools preference file and throw that in the trash as well. This preference file may be different if you own an HD or an M-powered system. Once you've done all of this, go up to the main finder window and choose Empty Trash. Now you'll need to launch and exit Pro Tools to write a fresh set of preferences to your drive. Pro Tools may take longer to launch as it has to check all installed plugins. Once it's launched, create a session, give it a name and save it. When the session opens, go to the main Pro Tools menu and choose Quit. Once Pro Tools exits, your new preferences will be written. Now you can go ahead, launch Pro Tools and work as normal.